What's up guys, Justin here with TheRealTimeEssentials.com back with another Unity Asset tutorial for you. So in today's video we're going to check out the Character Movement Fundamentals, an asset for Unity designed to help you quickly set up character movement so that your characters can move around in 3D in a physically believable way. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So you can download this asset from the Unity Asset Store and it's basically a collection of different controller prefabs that you can use to quickly set up controllers in your scenes. And so it's got a couple great example scenes that show all of the different features so you can see exactly what it does. But I will link to this in the notes down below or you can download it from the realtimeessentials.com slash character fundamentals. And so the first thing you need to do is you need to enable it inside of Unity. And so to do that you can go to Window, Package Manager, you just want to find character movement fundamentals and you can download this and then import it by clicking on the import button. And that's going to give you a folder that looks like this. And so the first thing you'll note is there's a PDF manual that you can um, open up inside of this folder. So that's going to take you into this PDF that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how exactly to use the tool. So um, it's, got, it's a 61 page documentation so there's a lot of information in here um, going through like the different scenes that are contained in here as well as showing you how all the different controller prefabs work, um, descriptions for them and different scripts, things like that. Um, so a lot of information in here. I do recommend that you start off with this um, because it's going to give you an idea of how everything should come together. Um, it does also come with a collection of environment assets, so if you do want to do like quick prototyping, there's a number of blocks and stairs that you can put together contained inside of this asset. And so once you kind of open this up, you can go into your example scenes, and there's a showcase scene in here. There's an empty showcase, the showcase scene, as well as the top-down scene that you can use in order to check out these different controllers. So right now, for example, I have the showcase scene active. And so the way this works is you can just come in here and you can just click the play button and that's going to automatically turn this on so that you can start moving around your scene. Notice how it gives you controls over here on the lower left hand corner. But you can see how you can move, you can jump with the spacebar key, you can look around with your mouse. So the cool thing about this is this is built so that you can see how the character is going to react to different things inside of the scene. So for example, you can see how the character is going to go up over stairs, up and down ramps, um, over terrain, other things like that. And so as you go in here, you can see how this is also going to have some like different switches that you can use in order to flip gravity around. So there's some interesting aspects of this that are built in. I, I think these are some great ideas that could really help you get kind of creative for what you could do with this tool. But in addition, if you hit the escape key, you can also see the different controllers that are in here. So for example, you can switch to a third person controller right here. And there's a couple different third person controllers in here um, that are really going to be different based on how the camera works. Like you can see how you have a slightly different camera location in each one of these third person controller setups. And in addition, there's also a top down controller so that you can set your character up to move around from more of a top down sort of way. So again, just a really cool tool for setting up your different camera views near character movement. So in addition, if you go into the special folder, there's also a couple special scenes in here that show some other things that these, uh, that these uh, controllers can do. So this one has three additional scenes, um, one of which has the controller set up where um, it basically sticks to a piece of ground. So you kind of like walk around, it's like planet shape thing, um, and you're kind of stuck to the ground like that. Um, there's also one where the camera is kind of external and not linked to the player, which is interesting because it gives you this kind of like unique view where the camera's flying around um, independent of the player movement. So this one is also interesting. And then finally, there's also a scene where they have click to move set up. So the click to move is set up where it works a little bit different, where now you move based on clicking, right? So instead of you moving around based on the W, A, S, and D keys, you actually click inside of the scene in order to move around. And so the cool thing about this is you can just drop any of these prefabs into a scene and they're going to work. So for example, if I drag the third person controller into the scene um, that was created with Dungeon Architect and then click play, then I'm automatically going to be able to walk around the scene in that third person camera view. 
So the collisions are working fine, the characters working fine, all that different stuff. But not only can you do that with this controller, you can also do it with the other controllers. So for example, the top down, it's gonna work the same way. The camera's gonna be top down, but you're gonna be able to move around in that same way. So this is a really fast, easy way to get those controllers into your scenes. And so you can access those built-in building blocks by going into the environment. And then there's both interactive building blocks as well as the static building blocks in here. So you can start dragging those in here and creating scenes really quickly. So this is great for both like level prototyping as well as if you do just wanna build a simple level, this is gonna be a great way to do that. And so again, you can just drag those controllers in here and use them. And so there's both animated as well as blank. So the blank is just gonna be like a simple capsule. So if we bring in, again, I'm gonna bring in the third person right here. It's still gonna work. It's just not gonna have the jumping around that the other animation has. So just another way to kind of take a look at the way your animations work. But again, you can just drag these in really quickly. And so another thing that I've heard is I've heard that the developer is really responsive. So if you do have questions or you get stuck or anything like that, you can definitely reach out to him for some help as well. All right, so in addition, there's also a tutorial on the uh, developer's YouTube channel showing you how to add custom animated meshes to the controller. So that's something, if there's more interest, we might be able to dig into a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna do it in this video, but I will link to that video in case that's something that you're interested in. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this asset, what you'd like me to cover next. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.